Hello, I'm Bob Norton, founder and creator of Airtight Management. Welcome to our 101 Video Best Practices series. I know that these proven practices will help you become a better manager and leader. We also know that companies that use even a small fraction of them over time become market leaders and world-class companies in their space. These 101 best practices are just a small sample of over a thousand embedded in the airtight management six systems. Today, we're going to talk about ones used to create high performance teams. So best practice number three is quote, require open and clear communications. Now I could underline require on this slide, but I mean that in the strongest sense of the word. In other words, if there isn't open communications, you have to get right on it and begin to have people look at what the problem is and pull it out so that it doesn't fester and grow. You have to assure that your team is aligned, <clears throat> not just in definitions and goals as in previous best practices, but to have regular meetings to communicate openly. And this doesn't mean long, boring, useless meetings. It means a formalized agenda to look at as they do, as uh, Rockefeller did, the Rockefeller habits, to look at what are the bottlenecks that we're trying to get through today. Those kinds of short agile meetings will help break through roadblocks and help the team conform as to, to communicate as well as help each other and bond. So this requires trust and, and the team and not a political or personal mindset or agenda. It should share measurements and financials. I mean when I say open communications I mean you're looking at key performance indicators indicators, what your goals are, sharing those with the team. They may be financial, they may be productivity, they may be quality, whatever that team's job is, it should have some ending goals, ideally in numbers and hard numbers, as you would in a dashboard, KPI, uh, or anything to, to measure and prove what success is. Uh, you also want to eliminate and look down on politics, uh, and open communications tends to do that. So I literally mean that if there's a problem between two people, if you have water and oil and you have people arguing, you as the, the team leader, or the manager should lock those people in a room and mediate that problem and make it go away. If that problem grows, you're gonna lose the productivity of that team going to things that don't create value for the customer uh, and don't help the organization reach its ultimate goals. So that's best practice number three, always require open and clear communications. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next Airtight Management Best Practices video.